And it's free. It's totally free. If you want it, type in exclamation Robin. And you will get it for for, for free. November 06, Charlie Flatting 260. FS Economy Auto Login. Okay, doing the FS Economy Rental Recheck. Looks like we're okay there. We are flying for Snack Air. Check out snackair.com. It's a beautiful website. We're having a, an amazing December co uh, competition amongst all of the Snack Air pilots, giving away seven Whiskey Papa contact departure. Giving away three FS Economy aircraft. Contact departure, eight seven Whiskey Papa. PC twelve, TBM, and a Baron. And we're getting some great numbers. Maybe we'll be able to talk about those numbers sometime during the stream today. November 187, Whiskey Papa, Santa Barbara departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 5,000. Did I just hear TBM? I was in the throes of Blender. Uh, yeah, we're, give, uh, we're giving away an FS Economy TBM. Um, to, uh... Tower, to make it is clearly active at Foxtrot. Yeah, leading edge simulations, how you doing? Yeah, n not the payware... Aircraft. Key taxi to parking via alpha this frequency. But the actual aircraft, taxi you would, by alpha. Thanks. You would you. you'd own that in FS economy, which is, you know, makes it nice for if you don't want to pay rent, to s or if you well, want to make money off of I renting it to Kodiak others. Four Tango Bravo is short on the runway 34. The four Tango Bravo runway 34, clear to land. 34, clear to land, four Tango Bravo. Hope you're well, Gorn. All right, I'm going to change the range on my PFD. Use the knob here. That's pretty handy. I dig that. Why is the cal... Sh yeah, it's kind of a nuance of the whole entire aircraft, the whole panel, except for the avionics. The panel around it is shaking quite a bit. I was I was commenting on it earlier that uh, I I wish you could turn that off. But, nevertheless, it's probably what happens in the real aircraft. I hope that I'm squawking 2225 because down here, my, al my altimeter, or my transponder is not showing that. But on the G1000, it is showing that. So... Shaky panel, maybe too much coffee. Could be 757 Spy. How you doing? Yeah, that could be the case. All right. Uh, Foxtrot Echo, going to hold short here of runway 8. Uh, let's get the tower frequency ready to go. It's ready to go. Departure will be on 124.7. Point Magoo. By the way, this is GPB 500's Camarillo Airport. It's a great airport. Getting pretty good frame rates with uh, X point 11.41. Someone was ground, Masaba 380, information, Victor, clearance to San Diego, Lindbergh. I uh, I had a bunch of problems with my X plane crashing to desktop, but it was purely my fault. Saw the 380, uh, San Luis ground. It's gonna be a four out clearance. There's actually a tech route advisor to copy. I overclocked my GPU. Okay, we'll, uh, just find the tower. Yeah, so shift gives the number. We'll be able to find that. Uh, Saw the 380. Saw the 380. It's the Santa Barbara Papa 64 tech route. A tech route for a just southwest jet. Just to refile, I'll just familiarize myself and then call you back. Let's off the 380. I can uh, file it for you. It takes two clicks. Just let me know when you're comfortable with the clearance. Yeah, go ahead with the uh, with the clearance. I can uh, do everything afterwards. Let's off the 380. Clear to the San Diego Lindbergh Airport on departure. Fly runway heading. Radar vectors San Marcos. Then. Uh, 
via the oh, Santa Barbara cool. Papa 64 tech route. Maintain 5,000. Expect 9,000 in 10 minutes. Departure frequency 120.55, squawk 6367. Declared to the San Diego Limburg field via fly runway heading Red of Exus San Marcos and then via the Santa Barbara Papa 64 tech route. Maintain 5,000, expect 9,000 in 10. Departure frequency 1. We really should put in that radio. So I'm going to change the local CDI here. So we'll go back. CDI. The Ventura. Ventura radio, let's see here. It's 108.2, so I'm going to put that in nav one. There we go. And then I'm going to put in a course of 044, although we will get radi r radar vectors to that. There we go. I think we're ready to go. Never noticed it being shaking on yours. Maybe you could turn it off somehow. I don't know. All right, let's make 28.2 the primary point we're giving the standby. All right, Exper experimental flight metal still on. That shouldn't make a difference. I, I'll double check that. I don't think that, I've always seen that shaking, so. Yeah, we got experimental on. I don't know if that's good or bad for this one, but we'll find out, I guess. Camarillo ground, Robin 572 Romeo, ready to go, runway 8. 572 Romeo, Camarillo Tower, wind 070 at 8, tower. runway 8, clear for takeoff. Runway 8 cleared for takeoff. Thank you, Tower. 572 Romeo. I said ground, I think. Just giving you immersion of a VFR, IFR pilot making a radio mistake. Okay, so again, this is runway heading to 500 feet and then a right turn to 230. Field elevation here is showing 80 feet. And here we go. Number 187, Whiskey Papa, say, uh, Christian, climb and maintain 6,000 and say approach request. Okay, we can rotate there. Oh yeah. There's a hundred feet. FS economy just started. November seven two Romeo contact departure. Departure five seven two Romeo. Departure 87 Whiskey Papa. Um, I would like to shoot Laps the up. localizer Bravo Charlie Alpha approach. Point Magoo departure, November 572, Romeo uh, 500, uh, heading to 230. November 572, Romeo, Point Magoo departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 5000. Climb maintain 5000, November 572, Romeo. November 187, Whiskey Papa, cross San Marcos at or above 6,000. Clear the localizer, DME back course alpha approach, expect runway 30. Cross San Marcos at or above 6,000. And expect, uh, could you repeat the last 87, Whiskey Papa? November 7, Whiskey change. Papa, expect runway, uh, correction, Very actually known. expect the circle to runway 1, 2. Going to flight level change Expect mode. Circle to runway one two eight seven whiskey papa. All right, there's a two three zero heading. We're at two thousand, climbing up to five thousand. Put on our noise canceling headphones. 
And away we go. There's Point Magoo over there. Just off our left. Military field. Nice climb rate. 1,200 feet per, per minute with four people. 86 knots. Climbing 1,200 feet per minute. Remember, 72 Romeo, turn right, heading 040. Right turn 040, November 572 Romeo. November 72, Romeo, you can expect direct Van Nuys. Expect direct Van Nuys, November 572, Romeo. So we'll bring up flight plan and we'll just go highlight Van Nuys. November 1306, Charlie traffic, 11 o'clock, Niner miles. Get that ready to activate. Turning northbound, it's a uh, Robin climbing through 3,500. He'll be no factor stopping at 5,000. Roger, I'll be looking for that traffic, 1300, Charlie. Okay, again, going to 040 on the heading. We're at f coming up to 4000, climbing to 5000. Number 572, Romeo traffic is going to be two, uh, call it two o'clock, eight miles westbound. It's a uh, Cessna Skyline at 6000. All right, we'll be looking for traffic, November 572, Romeo. That's a pretty good climb, isn't it? I'm impressed with that climb. We're 572 Romeo, turn right, direct Van Nuys, resume mode navigation. Right, direct Van Nuys, resume mode navigation, Robin 572 Romeo. All right, so let's go uh, direct. Nav. There we go, direct Van Nuys. Zero six, Charlie. That traffic's now eleven o'clock, three miles. Still no factor. Roger from zero six, Charlie. That's weird. Oh yeah, there we go. Direct Van Nuys. All right, we're at five thousand. Uh, speed is climbing up, one hundred and twenty-two, and 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 climbing. Beautiful ortho photo here in SoCal. Gotta love pilot edge. There's an emote for that. Do I still have a green tint on me, D Money's? Probably do. Tighten up that visual. It's nice on the TBM, the Hot Start TBM 900, you can control the brightness of this screen. But in this plane, I can control the brightness in the, th in the uh, virtual cockpit, but I can't control the brightness on the 2D. You'd think you would be able to do that in Windows, but I can't find a way because it's, it's like a global brightness setting for all monitors, I think. Um... So it does have quite a bit of, and of course there's no monitor, unless there's a hidden button I don't know about that you could get to the menu of this monitor, but it's a little bit bright, but that's okay. Uh, Aqua says, I wonder how much longer before Orbex SoCal shows up. I have grabbed NorCal and, and it was at the end, it was on the end of the year cell. Aqua, did you see that they announced Florida instead of SoCal? They announced True Earth um, in Florida instead of SoCal, uh, so which I f found interesting. I'll be 
I'll be flying at day one when it, Florida releases as well as SoCal. I think that there, right now, there's a general, a nice year-end uh, product release phase, which is nice. Get all the... Uh, by the way, our panel's no longer shaking. Looks like it may just shake on the ground. All right, so over here on my MFD, since it's so big, I can change, get rid of the flight plan. And as you can see here, if I go over here, I'll make that control nine for now. Um, actually, I'll zoom in a little bit closer. It's nice to have all of this information about as close as that would look to you guys, but right here when I'm in this view, which is really nice. But of course, I, I'm looking down here at the MFD. I can keep track of my fuel. Is the Robin an automatic fuel changing between left and right tank? I don't recall. Um, you can look at the gallons per hour, the oil PSI, the oil temperature, the TIT temperature, the CHT, the cylinder head temperature, flaps, ele you know, elevator trim, rudder trim, etc. Shows up here the frequency, ground speed, 134 right now, and uh, estimated time. I'm assuming that estimated time is to Van Nuys, I believe, in nine minutes. As far as I can tell, the shaking stopped when you opened throttle just before takeoff. Okay. Yeah, I think you could be right there. BZD. Uh, Pilatus 255 says the optional tank is located in the fuselage aft or the rear seat. The fuel from the optional tank can be transferred into the main tank by pulling the transfer valve control located on the instrument panel. Note the main tank must be empty enough to receive fuel quantity from the optional fuel tank. So what you're saying is, is that when it says left and right, it's actually not. It's primary and uh, and then optional. So we can just we can let that left one go all the way down then. And then this uh, fuel transfer button is where? I wonder if they're going to model Disney. From what I understand, Disney used to send out C&Ds for that. Could be. Salva 380, uh, San Luis Ah, right there. Alpha. The auxiliary tank to transfer, but it you, it needs to be empty. 1306 Charlie has hotel at Santa Barbara. Okay. November 1306 Charlie, thanks. Uh, descend and maintain 4000 and contact Santa Barbara approach 120.55. Down to 4000 and 120.55 1306 Charlie. We're 572 Romeo, contact SoCal approach 134.2. 34.2 Robin, 572 Romeo. SoCal approach Robin, 572 Romeo, 5000. We're 572 Romeo, SoCal approach Burbank altimeter 3006. 06. Skylane 1306 Charlie, 5,800, descending 4,000 with hotel. Request RNAV, uh, or RNAV 7 approach into Santa Barbara. For 1306 Charlie, uh, Roger, you can expect a vector for that shortly. Expect vectors for the uh, RNAV 7 1306. Isn't that ortho just beautiful? Again, if you want this aircraft, it is free. Type in exclamation Robin. November 1306, Charlie, clear direct and to you Lober, win. cross Lober at 3000, cleared RNAV runway 7 approach. 
cleared, uh, 1306 started cleared direct Lober, uh, across Lober at or about a 3,000 cleared for the RNAV 7 approach, 1306 drawing. We got a subcribe. Desert Eagle 114 with the subcribe. Thank you, Desert Eagle. Welcome, welcome. How are you? What's the highlight of your Saturday so far? I'm going to have a good couple of weeks. Going to have a lot of streamy strums going on. Hello, Alther93. Aqua says, I think you can keep the volume up in this model, and there's a click spot for noise canceling on the lower left. I see the bows, but and you can rotate your scroll wheel. You can rotate your scroll wheel on that, but it's not like an on or off, which is nice. Just finished some shopping, ready to relax. I think I'm officially done with all my shopping. And I think. And that's very unusual for me. November 566, six, Echo Bravo, Santa Maria Ground. Uh, good afternoon. Very, very unusual for me not to be doing it like the December 23rd. Number 566, Echo Bravo. Runway 30, taxi via Hotel 1, Bravo 7. And uh, you can include that information in your first request. You don't need to just say hello. If you look at this flight plat, this flight, I mean, here here we are. We're, we're, we took off from Camarillo, right? And we're going to, to Los Alamitos, Seal Beach, right here. November uh, 566, six, Echo Bravo. It's actually uh, and we're doing it's this. going to be runway 12, taxi via Hotel Echo Bravo. And uh, at Bravo 3, hold short of runway 1, 2. Doing this big loop around. Do you know why? <laughs> There's this very small airport here. It'll, a very small airport here called Los Angeles International. So nice. I'm, I'm rotating the range knob here, and as you can see on my PFD or my MFD, I'm changing the range. For some reason, the cursor is not working though. I'll have to investigate that. It was working at some point. And as you can see here, we're coming up to the Van Nuys VOR and the Van Nuys Airport. Very cool. I have a question for anyone that uh, is uh, willing to answer. What plane should I fly next? I was thinking about testing the new 7s. The new 767 avionics package. Uh, but I was also tempted to do another G1000 aircraft. And that G1000 aircraft would be... I want to try the SF-50, that, that uh, vision jet. Number 7, Bravo Delta, Oxnard, ground cleared but to the, the ground field airport on departure. But the G2 mod. Fly heading 255. Radar Steve PHL, how are you doing? Citation would be a good radio. test as well. Then as filed, maintain 4,000. That's not a bad idea Expect either. 9,000 in one zero minutes. Departure frequency 124.7, squawk 7331. I should probably go to another G1000 aircraft because everything here is set up. If I go to the 767 next, then I have to dismantle this array of hardware. It's a, it's a hard life. Anders Norway, hello. Citation is GTN, though. Oh, I was thinking the Mustang. I was thinking the Mustang. Um, November 7, Bravo Delta, read back, correct? The Mustang has the G1000, yeah. I have survived a long time without four flight. 
That's how good the Navigraph charts are. Yep, I'm on Pilot Edge. Uh, Alpha R93. Again, the call sign making that request. Yep, indeed. I should probably have my uh, Project Fly banner up, but I don't right now. TBM works well. Real sim gear. Three five three nine or whiskey. It works so well. Uh, Oxnard ground thanks. Departure frequency one two four point seven. Squawk three three two two. It works. It, they have this. Um, you know, in some aircraft, you have to. Three three nine or whiskey. Read back correct. I'm gonna turn pilotage down for a second. In some aircraft, you have to finagle it so the bezel is not is not there. Three five three nine or whiskey. Um, Runway two five taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. With the TBM, they just have you map a what's called a cockpit builder's um, November, function. Uh, seven Bravo Delta, were you ready for taxi as well? And so you, do, I hit one key, and it automatically boom. Seven Bravo Delta, thing. Both of my PFD. There's the turn at uh, at Van Nuys. Masaba three eighty. Santa Luis Tower Runway two nine or clear for takeoff. Uh, you hit that one button, both screens are filled, and they're borderless. So there's a couple of files that you have to edit in order to size them correctly. But once you do that, it's just one key and boom. And then, of course, as you know, with the TBM 900, you have a lot of customization that's done on the MFD, and I have full control over doing all of that. You know, I can look at the traffic, I can look at the terrain, I can look at all these different engine um, electrical, all this custom code, it all works perfectly in here. So, yeah. What do you think the odds are that the 319, 327, 57 go on sale next week? The odds of it going on sale next week will be dramatically increased if you buy it today. But uh, D Money's 327, with the, you haven't decided yet? I'll tell you what, I'm going to try to sweeten the deal. I'll give you, I'll give you a, uh, let's see, how much, you have 30 in gift certificates, is that right? For seven, Bravo Delta, runway 25, taxi via Foxtrot Alpha. I'll give you, I'll give you another 15 if you go the 757 route. <laughs> that way I can do shared with you. I can do shared with you in the, contact departure. in the Tolis. I could do shared with you in the Tolis, but, you know, I'm more Boeing-oriented. You're having a real internal debate, aren't you? You uh, watched a two-hour video comparing them. Still walked away undecided. I'm telling you, the new version of the 320, the Fly Factor 320, the version 1.0 out of beta is fantastic but the tolus is great as well so it's i i understand i understand your debate but i i will say well yeah it's a debate i shouldn't try to influence you so much should i you should go with what you go with what your heart says Jerlog with the subscribe 32 months Time flies like my Airbus. <laughs> time fly, time flies like your Airbus. Exactly, Drillog, aka Svero. Can I still call you Svero for the next two weeks? We got a sub crab. Maybe just for two more weeks, I'll I'll refer to you as Svero just a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you don't want that. We do have a sub crab though. And then D Money's the here's another question I have. For three five three nine or whiskey Oxnard Tower, write down when departure approved, runway two five cleared for takeoff. What does your next seventy two hours look like? Cause I want a wreck fest again. I do I do, I do, I do. Ground speed one hundred and thirty, uh five thousand engines are in the green, temperatures are good. Um pff, we're just cruising right along. We're on Victor uh, 186 or Victor 597, depending on which one name you want to use. We're going down to the Atom Waypoint, and we're 27 miles from the Atom Waypoint. Wonder what the Atom Waypoint. 
three Romeo Fox is named after. Clear to the Santa Maria Airport by the Flout Five departure. That is a golf Santa course right there. Transition then as filed. Climb via Sid except maintain three thousand. Departure frequency one two zero point five five squawk seven one zero three. Actually, it's not a golf course. That's a golf course. That's just a community with a lot of green space. There's the golf course. Can probably wreck fest later tonight, perhaps tomorrow. Oh, so much fun. I wanna, I wanna solve the uh, server issue, so I may, I may test that sometime today. Uh, yeah, I may test that. But any of you out there that are looking for a good time? One, two, three, Romeo Fox, I read back correct. Purchase Wreckfest on Steam right now. It's sixty percent off. It's what is it, fifteen dollars something, sixteen bucks? And we had just so much fun last night. I don't know how long, how much staying power it has. I think if we can, you know, do it occasionally, but there they'll six second, Bravo, Roger. and we all know each other and we just try to wreck into each other, the the demolition derby is just gonna be fun every once in a while. Especially maybe after a trucking stream. Puff MTD one two three. Delta, runway two five cleared for How are you? Afternoon to you as well. Let's get an ATIS. Three five three nine whiskey contact departure. For Seal Beach, it doesn't like that. So call it for your Cherokee three five three nine whiskey climbing to one thousand four hundred for three thousand five hundred. For three five three nine whiskey, Soka crash and uh, Point Magoo departure. Radar contact maintain VFR and uh, say destination. It's pretty windy there, isn't it? Our destination is Brownfield Municipal, Sierra Delta, Mike. Three five three nine whiskey. Three three nine whiskey. Thanks. Uh, what if we should do the RNAV? So here we got the in the Seal Beach. We got the RNAV two two left. From the Saba three eighty contact Center one three five point five. One three five point five. The Saba three eighty. It's not an LPV though. Merch five seven two Romeo contact. SoCal approach one three five point four. Three five point four Robin five seven two Romeo. Asaba three eighty LA Center. We got a raid coming in from Mustafa. Mustafa with the I don't need LPV, Steve. I just like I just like LPV. But will it will it follow will it follow an LNAV automatically? Maybe. Guess we could try it. Thank you, Mustafa. Hope your stream was was fun. On departure, fly heading 220, radar record, Seal Beach, VOR, direct. We got a controller Robert change. 2000, expect 3,000, five minutes after departure. No. Departure frequency, 128.1, squawk, 5323. Is that a different controller? I think it's a different controller. Yeah, Mustafa, are you going to join us in that wreck fest life? Did you see that action? That was amazing. Oh, we gotta check in. SoCal approach and Robin five seven two Romeo five thousand. Cessna seven one four Tango whiskey read Oops. back correct. Is oh, rating? dang it! Roger. November five seven two Romeo SoCal approach onto your altimeter three zero zero seven. Uh, zero seven. Sorry about the step on. I I, I should have waited for him to say read back correct. That's your. That's a cardinal sin on my part. I forgive myself. All right. So the question is, if we go down to the MFD and I click on procedure, and I select approach, we've got the RNAV two two left GPS LNAV. If we if we hit that and we loaded it, it probably will have uh, altitudes. Uh, we'll do it vectors. I'm not going to activate it. I'll load it. Flight plan. We're still going to Adam. Yep, it does have altitudes. Now, the, the altitude here at Fabug says 3,000 feet. 
and then Jirpu Jir 1500 sued me or sued me at 720. If it's in white, will it follow that if I go in, if I click the VNAV button? I don't know. I just don't know. What do you think? Maybe? I haven't requested that approach, but the uh, the DR400 looks pretty sweet, I must say. I prefer. We prefer old steam gauges usually, but downloading. Yeah, it's the right price, right? It's fun. There's an occasion where I crave the uh, steam gauge. Uh, you know, in fact, I need to fly that. Uh, I need to fly that DC three. Clear zero four Sierra. Read back correct. Speaking of steam gauge. Let's declutter. That's so cool. So I'm just hitting the declutter button here just to get rid of. So right there is airspace. Uh, you got the perimeter circles from the VORs. More airspace. Clean it all up just to your root, which is handy. But I can't get the 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 uh, scroll to work. Is there a golf course aqua? Yeah, there's lots of nice ones around here. If I don't say it though, you don't you can't get the points. I have to say it. Wreckfest has planes too. Oh man, wouldn't that be fun? Can you imagine? I was thinking actually, you could create a simulation of in aircraft, and then we all. We can have toilet paper hanging from the back of our aircraft, and we try to clip the toilet paper, or we could just demolition derby into each other. System four Tango Whiskey, verify you have Ada Salima. Tell West, how are you doing, Tell West? Uh, this is Orbex. This is SoCal, so this is just regular ortho. Negative. I need a kilo not, protection, please. Not fork boy. This is just uh, my own baked uh, old-fashioned ortho. Fly into each other. It would be fun. I'm telling you, that wreck fest with cars last night was just so fun. I want to. I want to do it again tonight or tomorrow or something. But I need. I need bodies to, to do to do real world demolition dr derby driving. All right, uh, ten miles from Adam. I'm a bit stuffy. It was so fun. We were. We were. Get, we were grown men laughing last night, weren't we? I, what was your favorite track, Maverick? I, I loved that track with the outside ring, the the raceway around, the, and then you could go in the middle. And there was even an in, in, inner track. I just loved that. <laughs> I also liked the mud, but I had a little bit of difficulty steering. It's a good time, though. I'd like to I'd like to have a server set up for just eight people, and then at least six of six or seven of us are real in one bot. Is Skywalker worth seeing? I haven't seen the, the, the latest one. I I my favorite one did debuted in 1977 when I was in when I was in kindergarten, so that's my favorite one. Long time ago. Long, long time ago. I have to go see Little Women. It will make the uh, wife happy. According to my Twitter feed, Skywalker is very, very good. Uh, yeah. And then I also heard someone said it was the worst installment ever. System 714 Tango Whiskey, John Wayne Tower. One column right, two's right, a kilo. It's, it's setting records. I still haven't finished the uh, Mandalorian. I'm looking forward to landing and blowing my nose. Is that TMI? I think we'll just do a we'll just do a visual into uh Alamitos, Los Alamitos.
You're excited to start The Witcher? Yeah, I, uh, I, I watched The Irishman. That was pretty good, pretty intense, pretty violent. Uh, good acting. Um, finished The Voice, NBC The Voice, and I, uh, Right Girl and I, my wife and I, have a draft every year, and we pick our singers, and I won again. And um, we like Blue Bloods, and we like Parker Madam Secretary. And we like Chicago PD. She likes This Is Us. I, I'm not a huge fan of it. And now she's into the Christmas movies, of course. You love that game series but never read the books? The game series for The Witcher? I didn't even know there was one. I'm still debating which aircraft to, to do next. I share your disinterest with This Is Us. Yeah, it was okay for a little while, but then I just like, you know what? No. Drama. A little bit of humor. You know what? I want him to. I want to. I want everybody loves Raymond to come to to make a huge uh, comeback. I call it. This is busy, or this is bust. This instead of this is us. This is bust, or this is busy. Yeah, I liked it. Like I said, for a little while. I tried the All Rise, the courtroom one that didn't stick. Bluff City Law did not stick. Um, there's a few others I need to watch. All right, we're making the turn at Adam. We're joining uh, yeah, Victor three ninety four. Turn right, hitting three four zero. Do you have an approach request? Let's change our altimeter. Right three four zero, requesting ILS four tango whiskey. Three zero five. Assessing four tango whiskey, full approach or vectors to final. Uh, vectors to final will be fine. Four tango whiskey. Assessing four tango whiskey. Roger. These are vectors for the ILS two zero right approach. I think we need to descend here in a bit. Five seven two Romeo, descend and four thousand. Descend and maintain four thousand, Robin five seven two Romeo. And we'll descend at seven hundred feet per minute and bring back the power. Robin five seven two Romeo, contact SoCal approach one two eight point one. Good day. Two eight point one. Good day, Robin five seven two Romeo. It's so easy just clicking buttons and rotating knobs. SoCal Approach, Robin 572 Romeo, 4,600 descending, 4,000, and we have the one minute weather at uh, uh, Los Alamitos and request visual approach. Robin 572 Romeo, SoCal Approach, the Los Alamitos altimeter 3005. You can expect the visual approach, Los Alamitos airfield. Expect visual approach, thank you, Robin 572 Romeo. So four tango whiskey turn right hitting zero two zero. Right zero two zero four tango whiskey. Bring back the speed even more. Enjoy this beautiful descent. That looks real to me. Doesn't that look real? Wow. Robin seven two Romeo Los Alamitos one o'clock one zero miles fourth field in sight. You have Fullerton Airport at two o'clock five miles. We got the field in sight, Robin five seven two Romeo. Robin five seven two Romeo, clear visual approach, Los Alamitos Airport. Cl clear visual approach, Los Alamitos Airport, to Robin five seven two Romeo. All right, sync up our heading bug. Go into heading mode. Change our altitude down to one thousand. Uh, increase our vertical speed down to like nine hundred. And uh, 
Let's simulate a RNAV approach and see what happens here. So we're going to click on Procedure. Select Approach. I thought this was already in here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll go to... We need to be at Fabug at 3,000. So maybe we'll stay at 3,000 for a second here. If I hit the approach button, will it descend? That is the question. I'm going to try it. It says it says GP. As you can see here, it says G. Oh, there we go. GP. We did it. I'll set up, uh, let's see, airport elevation is 35 feet. I need to be at Sudme at 720. We'll just put 600 in. So, Cal Approach, Roman 572, Romeo, cancel IFR. Robin 572, Romeo, Roger. BFR traffic uh, just north of the Los Alamitos Airport. Altitude indicates 2,800. Type is unknown. Altitude is unverified. No other traffic observed between you and Los Alamitos Airport. Radio service terminated. Squawk maintain VFR. Frequency change approved. Good day. Okay. Squawk VFR. Frequency change approved. And uh, we're on the lookout for the traffic. Good day. Robin 572 Romeo. Robin 72 Romeo. Before you go, that traffic is uh, now headed northbound, maybe, or northwestbound. Altitude indicates 2,900. So long. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, on your MFD, you have to click the middle knob to activate scrolling. Oh. Oh. System 3771, Romeo, descend and maintain 8,000. System 71, Romeo, Lake Havasu, altimeter 3018. Oh, it's not working. It used to move. That's weird. Huh. Three zero zero four on the barrel. And there's the field. Go back to the map first and click on it. Yeah, I'm clicking on the knob, and I can change, you know, obviously I can change the scroll, but I can't, it's, the button actually physically changed when I pressed it in, it's almost like it's in, locked, and it, it used to move with the range, I think I locked it in place somehow. BK32GBFS with the subcribe, thank you for the subcribe, alright, I better slow down, alright, let's put in one notch of flaps. We got a subcrab. Let's do transponder VFR. Normally we should be doing CTAF calls, but... This is taking me right down to Chinatown. I like this. I don't... So, Steve, you 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 know what? I shouldn't just be so LPV-oriented when this works perfectly. That's pretty amazing. I'm impressed. Give me some... Bad weather. Then push the non down like joystick. Um, yeah, no, it it physically changed. So I think I have to pull it out clear six or something because it Vegas now Center. it won't. One call, Mermy, one on right, clear for takeoff. Yeah, I'll play with it after I land. Okay, another notch of flaps, full flaps.
Pretty good freaking frame rates, 40 frames. It looks like it's offset just a little bit here on the approach. Doesn't it look like I'm a little bit? Well, maybe not. Cessna 1, correction, Cessna 714 Tango, Whiskey, turn left, Tango 090. Left, 090, 4 Tango, Whiskey. It does say push CRS center. All right, let's take the autopilot off my airplane. Cessna 714 Tango Whiskey, five miles from Lemon Turn right, heading 190, maintain 3000, so establish low clash with clear dial, let's choose the right approach. It's pretty right, slow, add a little bit of power. Establish clear dial, let's approach for Tango Whiskey. I do want to find the object to change the uh, dirt on the window. Turn right, heading 220 to intercept, localizer if you need. Approaching with the riser, 220 to intercept. Six zero four CR contact departure. Lost tickets departure. Six zero four CR four thousand five hundred climbing via the sheet one. Now oh, float. Six zero four CR. The biggest departure radar contact. Forty six, but I floated. But my turnoff was here, so Ooh, flaps up. And now we got the panel rocking, shaking again. Who got closest? I think uh, Pilatus got it. One of these days I'll get into using, I'll doing proper CTAF calls. Crossing runway such and such. Um, if you're, uh, I still think it's crazy that these FS economy guys that own all of these airports, it's to me, you should just point them at pilot edge towered airports. It doesn't matter if it's yours or not. You're going to get a lot more activity into and out of your airport. If you point to pilot edge towered airports, at least from me and others, I'm sure. But instead, people point to their own airports. The other day, I pointed Snack Air's Idaho Falls to Jackson Hole because it's a pilot edge airport, and also the owner said, hey, let's reciprocate. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I was already pointing at Salt Lake City, which is a pilot edge airport. And of course, we do the same thing with some of our Colorado airports. Colorado Springs, we point over to Eagle and to Aspen on occasion. Uh, Denver sometimes. All right, I think Pilatus got it on that one. Thank you for flying. Bye bye. All right, let's take a look at the log. Uh, on that one, we made uh, two thousand two hundred twenty-three dollars. It was a forty-five minute flight. The rental of the aircraft cost one hundred and fifty-eight thirty-seven for the forty-five minutes. Fuel was twenty six dollars and ninety four cents. Ground crew fee of two twenty two thirty. Uh, distance bonus negative eleven forty five. Earnings this flight eighteen oh three ninety four and nine fifteen to snack air eight eighty eight to pilot. 